Have you ever wondered about the origins of the classroom staple, the opaque projector? This fascinating piece of technology, which showcases images of opaque objects on a screen using reflected light, has a rich history and a legacy that carries into the present day. Our tale begins with Swiss polymath Leonhard Euler, who demonstrated an early version of the opaque projector around the year 1756. These early models utilized oxyhydrogen lamps or limelights to create the necessary light for projection. However, due to the explosive nature of oxyhydrogen gas, these were eventually replaced with safer electric lighting. Fast forward to the early to middle 20th century, and you would find low-cost opaque projectors being marketed as children's toys. A far cry from their modern applications, but an important step in their evolution nonetheless. In the current day, opaque projectors have found a different kind of artistic outlet. They are used by graffiti artists to draft or create their artwork on rice paper, which is then adhered to a wall, a surprising yet creative reuse of a classic piece of technology. And the star of our story? The Buell Mark IV Opaque Projector, the most popular model of opaque projector to this day. This device offers simplicity and convenience, without the necessity of preparing presentation materials. It's plug and show at an affordable price. Buell continues to support and service their projectors worldwide, some of which have been in operation for over 40 years. These machines can project single pages or open books, with some models offering a roll feed for a series of flat pages. However, they do come with a few limitations, their intense light can melt heat-sensitive materials and their size does not make for easy transport. Now, you might be wondering, why not just use a television? Well, there are a couple of reasons. Firstly, even the best home projectors can't match the brightness of an average HD television. Secondly, many projectors require a high electrical current to function effectively. For instance, the Mark IV is powered by a 1000-watt lamp. Despite these limitations, a projector remains a more affordable option compared to a large screen television. In conclusion, the opaque projector from its humble beginnings in the mid-18th century to its modern-day use in classrooms and by graffiti artists remains a relevant and fascinating piece of technology. The Buell Mark IV in particular stands as a testament to the durability and longevity of these devices. So, Next time you see an opaque projector, remember its rich history and enduring legacy. And that, my friends, concludes our journey through the history of the opaque projector. If you found this information interesting, please consider giving this video a thumbs up. Until next time, have a great day.